Turning 18 is a big thing. It means that you're a young adult. In some way you're still a teenager because 18. You're no longer a child of anything. You're able to do more and most teens like me who are 17 may not get over it. Some want to grow up more and some like me we just want to say stay this young forever. For the longest time of when I was under 18, when I've been to school or college, I've always been labelled the shy one. But something that schools and colleges do is that, well first with schools, this only happens on your last week before you leave to go to college. And it's that on the last week, on mainly on the last day, most of your confidence ends up coming out and you can see that you're starting to change how you are. You say that, hey, you'll revisit the school, but so far in my life, I haven't revisited anything. Because in the end, those teachers who say you won't come back are white, they are. Like, you don't really realise how much school is or how much it harms the person until one, you go and then you leave and then you see through the other, other perspectives of other people. And then when you get to college, you're still the same person as you were, but that only lasts for a couple of months. And then somehow the college is able to beat that, what was that feeling out of you? You know what that feeling was? That was the feeling of actually caring. And then they beat it out for you that you do care, but then you also kind of chill down on things. And then you're like that for a whole year, you basically you are. No matter what actually happens, but then on your second year, for me, things started off all okay. I was in a tutor group which I know who I know some of them from the last ones, but again, what I said with college is that I'm here to go to college, I will hang around with you during breaks, but I don't want to become friends, because I kicked that out of my life some time ago I did. So, I will say I think September to December were the fast months, but then I was also fine. January up until we broke up to East, well, I think January before, and then a little bit before Easter, things were kind of okay, but then a, a teacher left. And then that started off a lot. At the time after he left, I kind of had some hope and things to do. And if you don't know, if you're really good and you feel kind of at a place, they kind of, you, you're able to sort things out faster. Um, and let's say over time again and again and again when you have a problem when you try and solve it it's, every now and then it's fine but then eventually 
your hope with a timetable where someone keeps swapping things around. But I think the last straw of me that came out, the last bit that said I wanted to get out of this place, was that when I got told that the timetables were going to stay as they are and they were not going to go back to normal. As of that you would continue to have the teachers that you are not supposed to have. And I basically think that destroyed the last bit of hope I ever had in me at all. And then after that it started going down. My careness of how tired I was and saying hello to people were going down. I was still doing it, but then I decided that I wanted to go. So I advised, I made this timetable, and then that went out because I got off more, something better. So you don't have to come in those, you come in those days, but you can have that day off. And we did that constantly, again and again and again. I'm not gonna lie, it was painful going through on those Mondays and Fridays. Painful, it was. There have been times where I, I I wanted to have a sick day, but then it'll be a fake sick day. And I'm saying this now because I know that I will never see them ever again. And I don't plan to. So, where are we up to right now in this point of time? I've already told people that I'm leaving, but I haven't told the most important people until the last day, and my last day. But before then, we were just trying to get work done again and again and again and again and again. And I first shared that point. When I was talking to people, my social skills were going faster. I stopped caring less. The people that I would usually hang around with kind of maybe got the gif that, that I was caring less. And they were correct. They were that the fact that I didn't want it to be there, that every time I went in there, you have happiness, but then you also have anger in you that you want to get out and you don't want to be there. The thing is, most people will say college for the UK is fantastic, it's all that, but college is not for everyone. And what you should know is that I didn't go to college to say it was my choice, it was never my choice in the first place. It was never that, hey, I wanted to do this, I wanted to do that. Because at the time I was 16, when I first entered college, and you should know that I was only in college because the law said so. If you're under the age of 18, you have to stay in education. And then once I had a, I said this years ago that once I turn 18, I'm out. One teacher told me it wasn't as simple as that. Maybe, but I got out. So it comes now to be the week in July. July, I'm not gonna lie, was, I did not like it. I was only there for, I did my time and then I was only there for one day where we went out to a trip to working. I did laser quest for the last time in my, in my life. And then I'll, it was a fantastic day. I said goodbye. I said that I would be there on this assembly thing. I never showed up. You know why? Because I decided that I did not want it to be there. Many of the teachers that I saw on that day kind of had a thing of that, hey, this is your last time, you're not going to show up. They were correct. I just didn't want to go. And I, and I don't know, you could say the nerves got the better of me, but again, every time when an event like this happens, I get nerves and I decided to take my own track that I didn't want to feel this. I didn't want her to wait in the car and do all that stuff again. So instead, I decided that I did not want to go. Do I regret my decision? 
yeah, and no. And it's hard to talk about it to this day. I do regret it, and I don't. So, college is now done, out of the window. It's hard to think about stuff like that, honestly. It is. So college is now done. What's next for me? Well, for during that time up until up until recently, it was dealing with the fact that I don't I'm basically free. I don't have any education, I don't have anyone to listen to. I don't have anyone to pull my back on stuff. You know, on the final days of the college, there was not that many people I actually did not like or hate. But I dislike certain teachers that I won't name. But I did this. I, I like I did not like them for like I don't know. I just not I was not happy with them at all. I I was just not I could go all day about what was wrong with those final stuff, but I wouldn't talk about it. So Getting used to not going to an educational environment and being on your own, being on, being with a YouTuber, living with your parents, because it's not a lie. Most seven, most people who are sixteen and seventeen or after leaving college do stay with their parents, and if you don't, then whatever. But now, how is things going? Turning eighteen soon. I don't know what life is holding for me anymore. It's like you look back at all this stuff. You decide who you want to be friends and who you don't want to be friends with. And then at the end of the day, after you leave like, school, that is the... just want to say that I'm not myself as I'm filming this, so I've basically forgotten where we've left off, so I'm just going to make it all up now. So, the thing is, is that when you, I look at it now that when people go to school, it's never a nice experience. You always have nice people in your life, but I look at it now and I see it that, because it's weird that you see it like this now, that most people do not like going there. Like, I think throughout the time that you have, I'm going to call them the child senses of being a child and nothing to, like, you're able to assist some stuff and you're able to, the careness hasn't gone in there just yet. And, well, <laughs> you're just able to be you, but then it's like, with most people who go to school, they simply just... They don't like it. Like I can't imagine of it how it's like for the people who live in like America or the school that Yax TV goes to. Like I do hear those schools can be big. I heard that special needs is also a thing in America. Quote me if I'm wrong. Um, I just. <laughs> It's crazy to me to see how I see it because there used to be a time where I would be in education and Yags would be in education in his own country. And now it's like I'm out. And I don't know, it's just one of the things you have to say to yourself that it's, it's like a shock thing. Like, oh my god, like, do they hate school this much? Is it really like this this much? Like, are they really doing this? Like, the whole recycle of things that it will just happen again and again and again and again because I'm not, I'm not gonna lie when you go to school you have the good times you have the best times but you have the shit times you have the fucking hard times you do and I will say this to every single person is that when you leave on your last grade or if you're in the UK on your on like year 11 ask yourself this who do I want to be my friends because if if after this 
you go to a place, it, I, as you know, I don't really care where you go to, you need to decide if, do I want this guy to be my friend, do I want these people to be my friends, because here, here's what you do, if you don't want them to be your friends, you ignore them. You don't have them over, you don't do this. But if you want to have these people as your friends, then acknowledge them. Have them over. Do fun stuff. But when you were a YouTuber, and when things have happened in your life, for me, it's way different. So yeah, turning 18 is a big thing. Stressful. And... We're just gonna have to see where this word goes. Thank you for watching. I'm probably dead now <laughs> uh, with the editing. Goodbye.